G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video, or this video anyway, is a response to a comment I've had on one of my other videos where somebody was actually asking, uh, they had a test coming up and they were, they were struggling with this multiplication division, this standard multiplication division. So I thought I'll make a quick video um, which they can have a look at just to give them a hand. So this might help a few other people as well. I'll put it out there. Anyway, um, let's have a bit of a look at this. So the way I'll do this is I'll just give a couple of examples. I'll work through them uh, for first multiplication and then for division. So let's have a look. So first off, say you got the question where you were asked to multiply, say something like um, 305 times 17. Now first off, we have to write this a different way, okay? And setting out of this is really, really important when you're doing this. So let's get into the setting out of these. So when you do this, you would write the 305. We're going to be times in this by, as I'll give myself a bit of space here with my times, it's not going to collide with my 17 here. And the 17 should line up so the 10's part, and the 17 lines up with the 10's part here, and the 7 and the units all line up together there, okay? So notice that the units line up the tens line up, the hundreds line up. So we put this over a, a line here and we're going to work this out. Now, before we go on with this, I'll, I'll explain this just on this particular one. The way that we work this out is as follows. We're going to work this out in parts. First off, when we stand and work out multiplication like this, we work out, we'd work out what 7 times 305 is, okay? And then we'd work out also what 10 times 305 is. Okay, and we're going to, by doing that, so that's the first part, we're going to do that second part, and then we're going to add them together. So 7 times 305 and 10 times 305, and then all together we're going to have 17 times 305, which will be our answer. Okay, so we're going to add these at the end, okay, what our answers are. So first off, let's work out this 7 times 305 part. So we start on the units part, and we're going to basically go 7 times 5, 7 times nothing, and 7 times... 300. We're adding our answers together, and I'll show you how we do this. So 7 times 5 is 35. Now we put the 5 down, and with the, the it's because it's 35, we put the 5 part of that down, but the 3 part, because it's a tens part, we're actually going to carry that across to the next part. So we only actually put the units part of our answer down. The rest of it we carry across to the next part of our answer. Okay, so the 3 goes here. 0 times 7. Now 0 times 7 is 0. And then we add that number we carried across here. So 0 times 7 is 0, plus 3 is 3. Okay, let's go to this next part. So this is at 300 times 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. Now I'm going to write the whole amount down here because there's nothing else over here, so there's nothing to carry to. So I'm putting the 1 down, then that 2 we'd carry across, but I might as well put it straight down here because it's just going to get added to nothing and it will end up being there. I hope that made a bit of sense. Okay, the next part, so that's 7 times 305, that's this one here. The next one we're going to do is 10 times 305. Now, anything now in that this 10s part here, what you do is you put a 0 down, because this 10 is going to add a 0 to the standard multiplication. If it was hundreds, we'd then add two zeros. Okay? So, we then go on like usual, 1 times 5, because it's not 1 times 5, it's actually 10 times 5. Okay, 10 times 5 is 50. So we've already taken care of that. 0, 1 times 5 is 5. So 10 times 5 is 50. 0 times um, 1 is 0. And 1 times 3, which is the same as actually 10 times 300, which is uh, 3,000. But 1 times 3 is 3, because that's actually in the 3,000s position. Okay? So we've got our two parts there. We've got our 7 times 305. We've got our 10 times 305. Now, like I said, to get 17 times 305, we're going to add our answers together. So let's do this. 5 plus nothing. We'll start again on this right-hand side. 5 times 0 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 2 plus 3 is 5. And that is our answer. That's our, our final answer there. Okay? So hopefully you're pretty good with that. 
Okay, now look, don't get despondent if you do a couple of these and you make a few little errors. The biggest trick to try and do with them is if you do a couple of them and you, and you get a, you, you say you could write them down and you might get a calculator and you could then actually, um, you know, check your answers on the calculator. But if you make a mistake, just try to find out where it is. It's okay to make mistakes. I make mistakes too occasionally when I'm multiplying these. I write the wrong thing down. I'll, even then you'll probably notice occasionally I might say the wrong thing or, or I might, you know, that, that, that happens. That's okay. It's, it's okay. You can do that, okay? The process is really good and, and eventually you get them more and more correct. So let's go through one more example of this. Say we have... Um, um, what about we do say something like 1015 and I'm going to times that by 27. So we write this out as follows. Actually, let's times this by 271. Let's make it a bit more interesting, a bit of a bigger sort of question. Okay, so let's do this right now. So we go 1015. I'm going to write it out that nice way first. 1015 and this is going to be times by 271. Notice again the units line up, the tens line up, the hundreds line up and so on and so forth. So this is actually going to be um, done over three parts, okay, four parts now. We're actually going to have 1015 and I'm going to times that by 1. I'm going to times 1015 by 70. 70 part here. I'm also going to times 1015 by 200 and then I'm going to add all these together to get our answer. Okay? So let's do that. This 1015 times 1 first. This is really easy times by 1s because 1 5 is 5, 1 1 is 1, 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 1 is 1. Look at that. Easy. Okay, 1 times 1015 is 1015. That seems pretty correct. Okay, the next time is by 70. So we're going to take care of that zero. We're going to put this zero, okay? So we put one zero there because it's a 70 part, not seven we're multiplying. So seven fives are 35. So we put the five down, we carry the three. One seven is seven. Plus three is 10. Put the zero down, carry the one. Okay, zero times seven is zero plus 1 is 1, and 1 times 7 is 7. Okay, so that's this part done. Now let's go to this final part, which is 1015 times 200. So, because it's a hundreds now, we have to deal, put down two zeros. That's what hundreds are, yeah, two zeros. So let's do this. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10. We're going to put that down there. Now look, I'm going to use a different colour here because um, otherwise I've already got some stuff there. So 5 times 2 is 10. I'm going to carry that by putting the 1 there. Um, 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, 0 times 2 is 0. And 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, you'll see that even here I struggled because I was trying to get everything squashed in and so it all stayed in a line there. And it's really, really important to do that, to keep things in a line. Okay, so what am I going to do with these now? I'm going to add them. So 5 plus 0 plus 0 is 5. We're starting from that right hand side. 1 plus 5 is 6. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. And the 2 goes there. So there is our answer. Okay, let's get into some division now. I'll show you how to do these. Okay, a couple of questions of division. All right. Yeah. So say the question you had was this. Um, say we wanted to do 3,065 divided by 5. Now this should go in without a remainder. We'll have the next one where we deal with a remainder, okay? So the way that we write this is a little bit different. Okay, the way we do these division ones is we write them as follows. We write 3,065, and we put one of these, oh, it's not very straight lines, get there. that's a terrible straight line. I'm going to put one of these sort of shapes, that's better, around it, okay, so divided by 5, okay. Now, the way that we do this is as follows. These are really, really simple, actually. 
we start dividing from the left hand side here, so 5 into 3, then 5 into what, then 5 into this, and 5 into this. And any remainders or anything like this, we carry across as we go, and these help us get our answer. So I'll show you how this works. So 3 divided by 5. 3 divided by 5, well, look, that's what doesn't work, because uh, 5 is much bigger than 3, so what, what, what 5 does go into 3. It doesn't go with a nice whole number answer. So because it doesn't go, it's too, the 3 is too small, we put a 0 there. And we get the 3, and we carry it across. Okay, so anything that's left over, which is this 3 here, we carry across the next part of our answer. And this becomes a 30. So 5 into 30 goes how many times? It goes 6 times with no remainder, so we have nothing to carry across. 5 into 6, 6 divided by 5. Six, 5 goes into 6 one time, and there is 1 left over. So this 1, we carry on to the next part of our answer, and then we have this becomes a 15. So 5 into 15 goes 3 times. So this is how you do this division. Okay, that's our answer. There's nothing more to divide. That's the finished answer. So what about I give you one more of these. Um, we do the one where we are doing, say, something like uh, 2,000, oh, what, 20,789, and we're going to divide 9 into this. Okay, so we write this the same sort of way, 20,789, and oh, such a messy line, and 9's going into this. Okay, the way we do it again, we start from the left, so 2 divided by 9, hey, we can't do that because 2 is smaller than 9, so we carry this 2 across, we put a 0 there. We carry the two across. Really important to put that zero there. Um, doesn't matter so much here, but occasionally a bit later when you can't do it, it's important to put the zero there. Okay? Because uh, say you say you had something like two hundred and eight, and you didn't put the zero there, you would end up with the answer of twenty eight, and two hundred eight is the answer. So just just be careful with that. All right? So the zero does actually matter. Now nine into twenty goes twice, goes two times, because two nines are eighteen and there is two left over. Nine into 27, well it goes exactly three times. Okay, so no remainder. Then nine into eight. Nine into eight, hey wait a sec, we can't do that. There's nothing, there's no, 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 no way that goes in. So we put a zero there. Like I said, it's really important you do this, okay? So put the zero there and we carry the eight across. And nine into 80, 89, well nine goes, nine nines are 81. So it goes nine times, and there is eight remainder, and there's eight left over. So what do we do with this eight? Because the eight sort of left on its own here. Now occasionally you might write this as remainder eight, or occasionally you can put this as a fraction where you would call it, say, eight over nine, okay? Because we're dividing by nine here, okay? So maybe you're gonna leave it like this one, okay? Uh, if you're just starting out. Okay, uh, hopefully that was some help. Um, let us know how you go, yeah? Let us know how you go on this test if, um, <laughs> if, you, if you do any good with it. But do study these. Again, write some up on a calculator. And, and again, look at the reasons if you don't get them right. Don't give up straight away. Look at the reasons why you don't. You will get better at them, okay? That's what, what study is sometimes, is going over things a bunch of times. As, as frustrating as that can feel. Anyway, we'll see you next time.